Since 2008, the abuse of drugs and other everyday household items has risen to an astronomical rate of over 30%. This situation is dire and needs immediate assistance and intervention. There must be new, there must be new laws put in place to combat this ever-growing problem. We are losing our grip on these substances and therefore is causing us to lose our youth. The current drug statistics actually state parents are the first line of defense to this problem and their laxed attitude and behavior have been linked to this recent incline of abuse. Most of these common drugs out there on the market for our youth to get a hold of can be made in the kitchen with your pots and pans. The ingredients can be found at your local Walmart. They're too readily and easily available to our youth today. I have a list of some of the most common drugs out on the market right now. Um, the one that's most popular that you've probably heard of is called Molly. It's a pill form drug. Um, it's basically cocaine as a pill. It's just similar, very similar to ecstasy. Um, usually passed out at parties and in clubs. It makes you hyper and you get that euphoria feeling. Another common drug is syrup, also known as lean. It's a prescription-based cough medicine that has codeine in it, which has been linked to suppress coughs in people who have really bad coughs. Um, youth are getting a hold of this syrup. They're mixing it with sodas and candy, and they're drinking it at parties and at clubs. It also gives that high euphoric relaxed feeling that they seem to crave. Another one that has been recent and posted in recent news articles um, has been the abuse of bath salts. Youth are crushing up these everyday bath salts and they're snorting them like cocaine. One that I came across in my research that I haven't heard of is a drug called crocodile which is made with codeine tablets and they crush them up and they mix them with household cleaners and lighter fluid. As you can see this stuff is beyond dangerous. <clears throat> I read that this crocodile drug acts as heroin so they are crushing it up, mixing it together and they're shooting it up. Now there are some things put in place to um, attempt to help this problem. We all know about drug screenings that are done for employment, but there are drug screenings done in places other than employment opportunities. There has been research shown from volunteer services and even some schools are coming together to also enforce drug screening. Some companies are even using drug screening services um, that are more detailed in their screens. The, the tests are more sensitive so that they can detect more of a variety of substances and drugs. There are also some restrictions placed on some over-the-counter drugs and substances that you would normally buy in stores. Sales on certain cold medicines containing pseudophenhydrin um, are basically kept under lock and key. They keep a tight list of who's purchasing them and how often they're being purchased to try to get a grip on this abuse problem. There's also age requirements for those cold medicines and also some regular items that you would normally buy. You wouldn't think you would need to show ID, but you do now. Things like um, spray paint and even super glue. I remember one time I was in the store to buy some super glue and I was amazed I had to show ID. But deep down I was happy and I think it's an excellent way. <clears throat> there was also a bill called the Combat Methamphetamine Epidemic Act that was implemented in 2005 that was signed and introduced into the Patriot Bill by the President. 
This act helped to ban over-the-counter sales of cold medicines, like I previously stated. Now you have to go through extra hoops and extra processes to get these cold medicines. Now, as you can see, there are some attempts to try to combat this problem, but it's not nearly enough. We need more people out there doing their job. We need more parents out there being involved. We need more groups and organizations like Helsden Betty Ford Foundation or the groups like Witness for Peace coming together and setting up um, organizations and meetings and boycotts and protests to get people's attention. This is a problem. It's a problem that hasn't always been a problem. And it's huge. It's taking over. Almost every week I watch the news and I see new drugs, new combinations of substances that our youth are creating at home. At home without supervision, we need to do our jobs. We need to handle this problem. We all can play a part in this fight, no matter if we're old or if, if we're young. There's always something that we can do, and that's our obligation. That's our obligation as teachers, as parents, grandparents, as friends, aunts and uncles. We all play a part, and we must all take responsibility for the society that we live in to do our part.